हाय फ्रेंड्स ग्रीटिंग फ्रॉम एनामॉल लेबोरेटरीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टेक्निकली वी ऑलवेज ब्रिंग आउट विथ सम वीडियोस व्हिच आर यूजफुल टू लेबोरेटरी टेक्नीशियंस इन क्लिनिकल केमिस्ट्री फील्ड टुडे वी वांट टू टेक वन मोर टॉपिक कलर वर्सेस ऑप्टिकल डेंसिटी एंड व्हाट इट रिप्रेजेंट्स इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट whenever i try to explain to some technicians about this graph and the results obtained by analyzer they always get little confused now what we are doing is whatever we are doing we are doing it in a tube what is this don't they are not able to link the two i thought we will make a small video to make a presentation not going too much into technical let's see whenever you buy a product which is clinical chemistry you always get a technical insert along with it and a technical insert essentially carries a principle on the basis of which this chemistry really works and in a principle of this chemistry when you look at it it is always having some substrate when the reaction goes on they become product for example in case of glucose the glucose from serum reacts with formaldehyde and pyrene phenol etc etc the other substrates produces a red quinonamide dye and gluconolactone gluconolactone is not colored but red quinonamide is a red color essentially whenever you look into any technical insert in case of clinical chemistry either substrate is a colored compound or product is a colored compound once you understand this small little thing who is colored you will immediately understand what kind of a graph you will get you are actually taking a working solution or reagent into a test tube and adding few drops fixed microliter of serum samples or calibrator moment you add this in a tube what happens is the color formation either decreases depending upon the type of reaction or increases depending upon the type of reaction increases when the product is colored decreases when the substrate is colored because substrate get consumed product get formed so as the color increases you will find your instrument is able to take optical density your graph is between absorbance versus time let's take an example of alkaline phosphatase first alkaline phosphatase is paranitrophenyl phosphate producing paranitrophenol paranitrophenol is a yellow color compound at 405 nanometer it absorbs so when the reaction is just begun there is very little amount of color here but the reaction progresses it becomes more yellow so in the beginning when there is a minute number 1 when instrument is trying to see the optical density may be around 0.2 like this second minute the yellow color is increased hence the instrument shows more absorbance in the solution so minute number 2 absorbance let's say 0.3 absorbance at third minute is even more so you will plot a graph which is increasing type okay so you got connection between technical insert principle what is happening in your tube you find the color and what is instrument showing as in a graphical form of the absorbance taken by this solution at a specified wavelength that is the increasing graph let us take a reverse example when an instrument is doing in a chemistry like blood urea nitrogen or gpt here the principle says in gpt alanine plus nadh alpha kg of course and nadh is a colored compound for 340 nanometer for naked eye is not visible but for an instrument at 340 nanometer it has a very high absorbance in the reaction when it produces nad plus that is a zero absorbance chemical okay so as the reaction progresses initially there will be very high amount of nadh in the reaction so at first minute very high optical density 1.0 as the reaction moves nadh gets consumed turns into nad plus that means less of colored compound nad plus i'm sorry nadh that means lower the absorbance 
एट मिनट नंबर टू यू विल हैव पॉइंट एट एब्जॉर्बेंस सिमिलरली एज द रिएक्शन फर्दर मूव फॉरवर्ड फॉर मिनट नंबर थ्री और फोर द एब्जॉर्बेंस विल कीप ऑन फॉलोइंग बिकॉज एन ए डी एच इज गेटिंग कंज्यूम्ड इन द रिएक्शन सो यू विल फाइंड अ ग्राफ विच इज शोन बाय द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एज अ डिक्रीजिंग एब्जॉर्बेंस I hope you got it very clearly. There are three components: technical insert in which there is a principle mentioned, there is a solution in a tube where there is a color formation or color deformation. That means removal of color is happening, depending upon the principle, and that is what is reflected in the instrument's screen as a graphical form, which is absorbance versus time. at first minute what was the od second minute third minute hence increasing or decreasing depending upon the principle i hope i have been able to explain this three fundamental components of a clinical chemistry that means instruction for use principle a solution in a tube and a graphical representation given by the instrument and you have been able to link the three to understand what is happening they are not in two, three independent issues they are all linked very much thank you very much friends for watching this if you like such videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon a new video will come to your screen further thank you very much